Hey guys, welcome back to the third and final candle review of the day. If you missed it from earlier, I did upload my thoughts on both Homework's Powder Triggered Crepe as well as Crinkle Candles Easter Blooms from the Easter Collection. I will link both of those reviews down below so you can go back and watch them if you did miss out. But to finish off today's reviews, we're going to be discussing a new Kringle Country Candle fragrance from the new 2024 spring lineup. And for this one, we are chatting about lemon tea and roses. So um, I'm finally kind of getting to the end of these new Kringle 2024 reviews. I know I've kind of been bombarding you guys with them for the last couple weeks, but I really am trying to get them all out and I'm finally reaching the end. I think I have have like one or two more after this and then um, I'll be done so woohoo yay um, but we do still have a few more to talk about including lemon tea and roses here so um, I was very intrigued by this fragrance before I even was before I even uh, got my package for this one um, because I love tea fragrances first of all they are definitely just like very interesting fragrance I think um, I not only love like actual like herbal tea fragrances, but I also love um, like conceptual tea fragrances like white tea. Um, but I just love tea in general. I love to drink it and I also love the fragrances. Also, Kringle does a really good tea fragrance. Um, if you guys have tried their herbal tea, that one is a really nice, just like fresh, clean, like straight up herbal tea, very authentic to that. They also have Tea Time from last spring, and that one is more of like a spiced chai tea almost, but they just do tea really well, and so I was very interested to see how they were gonna combine tea with a note of citrus-like lemon, and then also a floral component for that rose. So I was very interested, and I will confirm, guys, it works. This is a really beautiful fragrance. I am loving this candle. Um, it is a very zen, relaxing, almost spa-like candle. I feel like if you had like a spa or um, you just were having like a day at home where you're like taking a spa day or even like a bath, I think that this would be the perfect candle to light up just to kind of calm yourself. It's almost a little bit like, um, like aromatherapy almost, but anyways, we're going to get all into the fragrance, the notes, what I pick up, and then we'll finish off with the performance burn and strength and throw. Um, I will link this candle down below. It is available in this large two-wick format here, as well as the medium jar, daylight, and wax melt. So if you're a little bit more on the fence about this fragrance and you don't want to commit quite yet to a large jar, but you're still interested in trying the fragrance, then that daylight or wax melt will, wax melt will be a great option for you. Um, they are full price still, by the way. I have gotten a few questions if they're going to be on sale soon and when. Um, I have no clue. I've not been told when they're going to be on sale. I don't believe that anyone has been told. Um, it normally takes a few months for them to go on sale after the initial launch, so I'm sure we'll probably start to see a sale. Um, I would guess maybe around like May. Um, I'm thinking Memorial Day, but that is in quite a while. That's still two months away. So I don't know. It might be a little bit sooner than that, but Memorial Day sales might be kind of like the first big sale that we'll see for Kringle, but I really have no clue. That's just my guess, but these definitely will be going on sale soon. Um, as always, you can use my code Connor loves or sorry, Connor 15 and that one will save you. 15% off on your order. It is an affiliate code, so only use it if you are comfortable. I do make a small commission back from it, but it does just go right into my channel here to provide more reviews for you guys. Um, and then one more thing, I did pay for this candle, by the way. Um, this was not sent in PR. I was given the chance to pre-order it for the spring collection, but I did pay for it with my own money. Um, anyways, let's get right into the actual uh, candle here. I love this uh, packaging and label. It's got a really pretty like mint green color. Um, so, so pretty. I love this mint green green color. Um, and I also really like the label in here. You've got a couple mugs of tea as well as a lemon in each and then uh, some floral roses and some green on the sides. I just really like the label and packaging of this one. But let's get right into the fragrance and notes here. So the description says, allow the refreshing symphony of grapefruit tea, green tea, sorry, not grapefruit tea, just grapefruit, um, green tea and bergamot to take you on a fragrance journey journey 
where the elegance of jasmine and violets mingle with the herbal charm of basil and mint, all resting on a smooth on a soothing base of moss, amber, sandalwood, and musk, creating a beautifully balanced blend that inspires both invigoration and tranquility. All right, your top notes are lemon, grapefruit, bergamot, and green. Your mid notes are jasmine, violet, basil, mint, and rose. And your base notes are moss, amber, sandalwood, and musk. Okay, so this is a very complex, unique fragrance. It's going to be a little bit hard for me to describe because there is just a lot going on in here, and you could probably tell that by the notes. But let's start with the tea fragrance in here because that's kind of like the base of this one, I think. It is just a very fresh herbal tea. Um, not at all like the tea time from last year, like I said. It's definitely more like that herbal tea from a few years ago where it is just a very authentic tea fragrance. Um, not like a flavor tea, really. I guess if you had to give it a flavor, maybe the citrus, kind of like a lemon tea um, because it does definitely have those citrusy notes of there and there of like lemon and grapefruit as well. So I definitely do get a little bit of citrus, citrusiness added to that tea. Mostly lemon. I get a good amount of lemon in here. It's definitely a fresh, sour, tart lemon, but it does definitely add just like a pop to this one and makes um, like the kind of, I feel like tea notes can sometimes be very just like mellow, I feel like in a way. <laughs> and I think that that lemon just makes it a little bit brighter and happier and just a little bit more pop like I said um, but I really love the lemon that's in here um, I do get a hint of bergamot in here as well to just kind of give it a little bit of freshness in here bergamot is not like a floral fragrance but it's definitely more of like a fresh scent um, and it does just add again more like of a pop in here it just does make it a little bit more um, sweet or I guess like fragranced I guess comparing to that tea note um, I do definitely get some floral components in here as well, starting with the rose. That's obviously like the main floral that I get in here. It is a very, um, not super strong rose. It's a very like, in a way, it kind of reminds me of the same rose that was in the um, reserve lineup earlier this year. What was that one called? I forget what it was called. It was that rose fragrance. It had the black rose on the label, totally blanking on the name, but it kind of reminds me of that same rose that is in that one, is that same rose that's in here. Um, it's definitely more in the background though. I don't really think that the rose is super strong, but it definitely is in there and I do smell it a lot. I think I almost smell it more when the candle is burning versus on cold. I think I smell that rose just a little bit more, but you definitely get the rose in there as well as some other um, florals, a hint of jasmine, a hint of violet. Those are kind of like the three main florals that I get in there. Um, I wouldn't really say anything else, but the floral is definitely noticeable, but it's definitely more um, in the background. Um, as far as like an herbaceous way goes, I don't really get a ton of that in here. It says basil and mint. I would say I get more mint than basil. I don't really get basil at all. And the mint in here is just very slight and just kind of like added in with the lemon maybe, um, just to give it a little bit of like that freshness in here. But it's not a ton of mint, so I wouldn't let that note scare you away. And then those base notes, you've got moss, amber, sandalwood, and musk. There it is just like a slight um, like earthy base to this one, I guess, which I think is probably coming from the moss note in here. Um, there is just a slight, um, I, I wouldn't even say it's like a musk, but it's almost more of like a um, like powderiness that comes from the amber and the sandalwood. It's not perfumey to me. It's not cologne, but it does just kind of have like almost like a natural musk in here that I think maybe comes from like a slight amber sandalwood blend in here. But Overall, it's a very pretty scent. It's very complex, to be honest. Um, you can probably tell that by the way that I'm describing this one. It's got a lot of things in it, so you kind of just have to try this one out for yourself, I think. It's going to be kind of hard to know what this smells like over a review, but um, I would definitely recommend that Daylight or Wax Melt. I think that that's definitely going to help you uh, try this fragrance out without having to commit to a large jar. But that's the thoughts on the fragrance. I love the scent. It's a really great one. I would definitely repurchase it. It's just a very nice springtime scent. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the burn and performance on this one. Um, I will turn it over just a little bit so you guys can see the flame a little bit more. 
Um, as you can see, I am at about the halfway point for this one, and it's doing really well so far. I am still very impressed with these country candles that have these new wicks. Um, they are definitely doing really well for me compared to the older country candle blend. Not only just the paraffin, but the old soy one as well because it still got pretty dirty on me. But as you can see, it's just a very clean burn on here. Um, sometimes a little bit of soot will be caught like at the lip part here, but it really does a good job of, of burning cleanly for me. Um, as you can tell, those wicks are a little bit small. Um, you can't even really tell, but they're just a little bit smaller than like the Kringle two wick um, toddler jars. I think that those ones um, have a little bit bigger wicks, but um, these wicks do really well for me and I do not really have any issues. They do form carbon residue balls, so I just trim those off the top of them, but um, they burn very cleanly for me and don't really get messy or sooty or anything like that. So as far as the burn goes, definitely gonna give that a thumbs up. And then strength and throw on this one, I get a really solid strength and throw out of here. Um, it's a solid, I would say eight for me. I get a really nice strength and throw out of this one. Um, I would say if I have it sitting in my hurricane, because I always burn my candles in hurricanes most of the time, and then also if I had it in like the kitchen area, it's definitely filling up that area and running into the living room. It does a really good job of filling up this whole side of the house, honestly. It's a very strong fragrance, um, and I'm really happy with this one. Um, this is a type of scent where I don't think I would want it to be like a powerhouse, like a 10 out of 10. Um, I'm happy with it just being like a seven, seven and a half for me, almost eight. Yeah, I would put it in an eight in a hurricane, but I'm happy with it being there. Cause like I said, this is like a very strong type of scent where I wouldn't necessarily want it to be overpowering. Cause sometimes, like I said, those rose notes can just make it a little bit unenjoyable for me. So I'm personally really happy with where it's at in terms of strength and throw and, um, Burn is good, candle's good, scent is good. So yeah, overall, I'm definitely giving this one two thumbs up and I would definitely recommend it for you guys. So let me know if you guys have tried lemon tea and roses from Kringle Country Candle. I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. If you have, let me know. Um, also check out the description box. I'll put a lot of good stuff down there, including a link for this candle and my discount code so you can save a little bit of money there. But thank you guys so much for watching today's reviews. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.